hello guys welcome back it's been a quite some time I couldn't prepare any video and today I have decided to come back and prepare video for you and I'll be continue preparing video now onwards I was a little busy with my current job and that is why I was unable to prepare any video for you guys so today I have come up with one topic which is about ASM disk creation in RHL 7 so first thing why we need ASM disk and what is ASM disk so that is nothing but an automatic storage management which is a disk type used by Oracle Ray cluster and as a Linux admin when your system running an RHL 7 and if that RHL 7 is running a database Oracle 11G or 12C they probably uh, need an ASM disk for their for their Oracle Ray cluster so when they need those disks you have to follow few steps from OSN and you have to format the disk as ASM or format or given a level to that disk as ASM and hand over the disk to DB team so that they can use that disk uh, in their Oracle Ray cluster. So there are two ways basically to create the Oracle disk you would be able to do through UDAV and there are few steps we have to follow and the other way is to install the RPM and this will simplify things when you install the RPM libraries regarding ASM and after installing those packages you just have to follow a few steps so I have given those steps in this link which is my site tune to Linux you just have to go to this link and follow the steps and once you follow the steps you would be able to create ASM disk so now the first thing what you need is to configure your ASM disk you need to install these three packages so currently these three packages you, it is not available in your Red Hat DVD you just have to download them from Oracle site and once you download you have to install them and once you install you would be able to create ASM disk so now for download it, downloading those packages there are a site this is the site for Oracle where you have to go manually download or you can duplicate those packages let me just do that for other one as well ok so there are two packages I have downloaded library and support and apart from the, this two packages you need one more which is called kmod oracle asm and this package is already in my repository so I don't need to download that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install oracle asm and star So it is going to install three packages kmod which is from my repository and other two which I have just downloaded. Okay, so my package is installed and it says to enable the service so that when the system reboots your Oracle libraries or disk are comes up default. Anyway, so we are going to start that later. So we have just installed the package the next step is to create few user or if you have to create one user and two group so basically if the system is installed oracle already those users and group would be available on the system and you don't have to do anything but if it is a new system and the oracle is not installed yet then you have to create them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create them because I don't have Oracle installed in the system. 
so you can use minus minus GID or just you can use minus G here and it says the UID uh, GID is already installed uh, sorry the group is already installed or installed so I don't have to create it but this is the way you have to create it minus G and DBA is also available and user is also available I believe so I have created all those users and groups so that is why it is already there so if it is not there you just have to ensure this user oracle and group is created okay so once you create those users the next step is to check the configuration file this is the default configuration file basically you don't have to do any changes in this when you are using the rpm for oracle asm okay so it just looks like this i just wanted to show you the file okay so this is the file and now the part for creating the partition for the disk which we are going to format as asm so if i do a f disk and if i run this command i can able to see there are two disks already which I have allocated to the system and now I have to create a partition under them so to create a partition I will use the same have this command slash dev sdb and if I check for partition I don't see any partition so I'll create a new one primary partition and the size I'm going to say the default and I'm going to write it and I'm going to do the same thing for other disk I don't have any partition and to make them online I just need to run part pump command and ignore this warning this is regarding my CD okay so I have created the partition now if I just do uh, f this minus l slash dev sdb I can able to see the partition for sdb and for also sdc there is a partition called sdc1 so partition is created the next step is I need to configure it and add them into oracle so I just need to run this command and it is saying the default user or interface which is going to manage this disk so it is going to be oracle user and default group would be dva and whether this this will comes up when the system is boot or not so i'm saying yes let's say y here okay so it is done so now i need to start the service for Oracle ASM let's start it and check the status and it is running and libraries are up so now if I go to slash dev there is a directory created automatically call Oracle ASM and inside this if I check there is a directory called disk and currently there is nothing here because I haven't created an Oracle ASM disk yet so next step is to create an Oracle ASM disk Oracle ASM and command is called create disk and you have to create a volume I have to provide a volume name and give the partition name so this is my partition sdby sdb1 so I have created for first partition 
and let me create for second one okay so it is SDC here so I have created a disk so now if I do an LS here I can able to see the volume which has created and you can able to see it is default owning by Oracle and DBA so now I have created a volume successfully and also added the ASM disk so this is how you have to create an ASM disk so once you have done with that what you have to do is you just have to give this partition information to Oracle team and they would be able to see those disks under the volume vol1 and vol2 so this is a very simple and easy steps so let me do one more thing is uh, enabling the Oracle ASM service because I just started but I didn't enable it so let me just ensure that it will start the service while the system boot and there are some command you can able to use Oracle ASM list disk is the first one you would be able to see the volume information second thing is scan disk if in case your volume or disk which is you uh, which you have created is not show for some reason then you just have to run this command and it is scan disk I believe and see it is really scanning and in case you won't be able to see you just need to run that command and you can also query which volume is having which partition so you can query like this and you can able to see SDC is marked as SMDs and level is volume 2 so this is the steps and those are the few simple steps which you have to follow to create an ASM disk and I would recommend you to use Oracle RPM so this is very easy to configure or create ASM disk if you are not using RPM you can use UDEV but there are few other steps which you have to follow and it is a little complex as compared to the steps which I have showed you, showed you now so that is what it is but now the next query or next question is the disk information now if I do a PVS I see only one partition PV here and also if I do a PVS minus A minus O plus dev size I can see the partition here but I don't see this partition is level to anything or it has assigned to any volume group so many situation in real time uh, environment I have seen people have done mistake creating a new partition under this disk or they have deleted the disk which caused a production issue and to avoid that and uh, to avoid these issues what we have to do is you have to double check when you are creating a new partition or new file system you see in the system you just have to ensure whether that is not used by Oracle ASM so how will you ensure that because PBS command or PBS minus A minus O option command it is not showing whether that disk is used by any volume group or Oracle and also if you do an F disk minus L pipe grab SD you can s able to see the partition but you won't be able to see that whether these two disks are used by anything so how you will ensure that because that is very important to avoid issues so you have to run this command vlkit it's a simple command and very useful command so if you run this command you would be able to see the level information regarding your disk and partition so now you see sdb1 and sdb sdc1 which is level s volume 1 and 2 and they are using for oracle asm 
so this is how you have to ensure it when you are working with any partition or disk on the system okay so I just wanted to pass this information because I have seen people done mistake they have created Oracle or they have created partition in Oracle ASM disk and that lead to a major issue so just to avoid I just wanted to convey this to you guys okay so that is what it is guys thank you so much for tuning my channel and watching my video have a great day I'll see you next time